Hey everyone, this is Kelly with Custom Cycle Parts. Just doing a video to kind of show off our new saddlebag inserts that we have. These are a couple that we have just started doing. These last sets here is actually a set that we did with custom lettering. Uh, any of these designs we can do with any kind of different lettering, custom names, um, logos, whatever you want. Not necessarily have to be this design. We, can, we have lots of designs that we can do. But the main reason for this video is I wanted to show a quick and easy way to remove these reflectors without scratching or damaging the outside of the actual metal insert. And the tools that you will need is just a simple drill with a drill bit, a screw that is a little bit smaller than the actual drill bit. Uh, in this case, we use 11 drill bit and then a number 10 screw and then just a screwdriver. So on this one here that we have, I actually had kind of tested this just to make sure it worked on this side, but we are going to show you on this side here. And just for reference, I took these inserts off of the saddlebags. You can just as easily do this on the saddlebags, but we took them off just for video purposes. It's easier for us to take the video. So anyway, you pick a corner, probably about right in this region here. And you drill through, you know, obviously you don't want to drill all the way through, you just want to drill through this outer plastic material. So, I'll position it right there, drill slowly. And you'll feel it kind of go through there. Okay, there we go. So she went through the first layer of the reflective plastic. The next thing you want to do is take your screw, which is a little bit bigger. You put it in that hole, just kind of get it started, and start screwing it in. It'll start catching threads. And the thing I like about this is it will not damage or scratch. I've seen other videos where they've tried using a pry bar or a little pry and pry underneath there, and, and every time we've tried doing that, it just ends up scratching. So, stick it in there, you'll see it's already pulling away. And you can actually take this and pull the piece right off of there. And the other piece fell off that we did before. So then what that does is it exposes the black part underneath there. If you wanted to from here, you could probably take an O-ring pick or something and kind of get underneath there. You can actually kind of get underneath it a lot easier than what you could with that reflective part on there. But what we did is we actually went and we drilled another little hole. And this one you'll kind of know when it gets through. Okay. And you will make a little mark if you decide to do that in there. But once you put your new reflector in there or your new insert in there, you will never see that. Basically just unscrew this back out. And like I said, if you wanted to use an O-ring pick or something like that rather than drilling in there, you probably can um, get in there without damaging the, um, the actual metal part itself because you can get down a little farther. Okay, so then you take this, you run it in there again, and you can see it's starting to kind of actually pop up out of there. So you have to keep screwing that and keep coming up. Take this, you just pull it away. Keep pulling it right off, just like that. And this one that came with, you know, some of this adhesive was left on there. So then once you're all said and done, you just want to scrape some of this adhesive off. And like I say, we did end up leaving a little mark, but whatever you replace this stock insert with is going to cover that right up. You won't even know that that had happened. Um, if that, like I say, if that does bother you, you can always kind of get a little pick underneath there after you get this outer piece off. Uh, basically rub this off. Bas the best way to probably do that is put a little goo gone or adhesive, uh, alcohol or something on there to kind of rub it off. It does take a little bit. It is on there usually pretty darn good. And then, like I say, once you get it cleaned off, take some rubbing alcohol, get it super clean. These inserts here, they just got 3M tape, just kind of like what these ones would have. Drop those in there. They fit perfectly. And they got, you know, some of them got a nice little sheen to them there and they kind of add a little special touch to your bike, a little custom class to it. Um, all of this and much more is available at customcycleparts.com. That is custom with a K. Uh, if you ever wanted any customs, 
done, feel free to message us right through our website. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Uh, email address is customcycleparts at gmail.com. Any questions, anything you need, definitely give us a, a shout out. Thank you, you guys have a good night.